Hey everybody, welcome back to Fairville Plays Monster Train. What can I say? Two wins in a row? It's like I'm a whole new MT player. An MLG MT Pro, baby. You're watching it right now, live in front of you. Covenant rank 17. Dead weight to your starting deck. Is it annoying? Yeah, I'm dude, I'm doing random random. The random random has it's it's too strong. It cannot defeat us. We will never be stopped. But with that being said, I am very curious to see who we get. Oh dude, classic Umbra Melting Remnant. Okay, okay. It's been a while. It's been a while since we played as the non new champion. So it's nice to have a little bit of the, you know, the original boys back. Oh and dude. Sarah of the Chase, huh? This is a very original, vanilla monster train run, and honestly, I'm here for it. So, two dead weights, lots of drafts. We do have Howl Drippings, which is good. We do have Mind Collapse. We do have shape, uh, Shade Splitter and the Train Stewards. Okay, okay. So, oh, dude, you know, Teeth of Gold is pretty nice, especially if we could set up like an endless eating machine, which we might actually want to do. Um, Abandoned Ant Umbra, though. At the start of a turn, add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hand. I actually like that. It takes up a card space in our hand, but it means I never have to worry about morsels. Well, I, that's not true. I don't have to not worry about morsels, but at the same time, it's not bad. Um, three damage to the rear enemy unit when a unit is eaten is also really good, but we just have to eat. I think I'd, I'd rather have the abandoned Ant Umbra. I think, I think being able to give ourselves morsels without having to worry about it, then why not? And you gotta go trample, dude. Yes, it does kind of put our deck into a, a hey coward, make sure you uh, get your capacity up. That's fine. Anyway, it's it, we're good. We're good. Okay. Armor 10. Can we deal with that? We can deal. I didn't turn it on. <laughs> ah! Okay. Well, you know what? Still, this is fine. So like our, this first floor, we're going to have literally nothing to worry about. I think for the entirety of this like entire run, it's going to be a little bit spicy. But realistically, all we have to do is make sure this dude doesn't die, and then, like, that's it. That's that's 100% the game plan. We do have interesting ways of uh, making that happen, actually, now that I think about it, too. You want to gain some energy? Let's gain some energy. And then, ideally, we could put, like, a drag in front of you, which will make you last a little bit longer. I mean, killing you helps a lot. Good. And then, like, also, we just give you a damage shield. Great. And then, also, like, I'm just going to pop a drag in front of you, and now you're dead. There you go. Okay. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm feeling like I'm feeling excited about this run. Perils of production is good. It, see, this is what we want for our champion. If we could get perils of production, or vo ideally, if we could get void binding, that's it, brother. I'm pretty sure that's like an easy win. Hold on, I have this very large medieval times glass. You might notice that what I'm drinking is incredibly orange. I don't know if they have this in America. I think that everyone has this in America. Orange Crush, the best. Well, yeah, no, easily the best soft-served beverage. It's not a soft-serve. Easy-serve, soft-serve? I don't know, man. It's good. It's carbonated, man. I, I haven't had a carbonated drink in, like, 14 months. I do like the Dripfall, though. He do be liking Dripfall, though. So there is a misplay that we've already had, and that's that I missed the unit. So, like, oops, my bad. Um, I mean, really, like, our champion is our, our bread and butter. So we need to find a way to keep him alive, because 25 HP... It's not going to do that much. And there's really... I mean, we can make him endless, which would be incredible. Uh, but we need to obviously get those cards. We could also, like, reform him. But we have no way of doing that right now. So if our champion dies, we're in a bad spot. I kind of want to go harder on Melting Remnant and try to get, like, a Legion of Wax. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big ask. I'm not going to lie. But it would be pretty Gucci. Parathon Enforcer. We kind of need a tank. And a 25 HP unit, I wouldn't really consider that to be a tank, but... It's not bad. 13 damage and Umber Assault is nice. Remove Consume on the Hallow Drippings doesn't really, like, it doesn't do much for me. I think you want to make Grovel a little bit cheaper. And then with 25 cards in the deck, it's time to get rid of some boys. The Dregs are nice. And I kind of prefer the more over the Train Stewards in our current situation because they only have one capacity. And we're really not, we really don't have a lot of room to play around with. You know what? I don't think we do this challenge either. I, I know. Look, I want to say that I like started this series and I continue to hold on to this series with the belief in my mind that 
at the end of the day, I'm here for Gucci plays. That's that's 100% what we're doing. Oh my god, I played it there and he enchanted, but it's fine. We're, we're gonna take a little bit of extra damage, but still, like, come on, man. Okay, how do you want to deal with this one? You pop this bad boy here, now you're set. You pop that bad boy here, now you're set, you're getting away, which does suck, but I would like... It's two? We could, we, you can have five damage, which I think is better. These guys are gonna be issues. This is gonna be issues. It's gonna, but we're fine, we're fine. But when I started this series, I'm like, you know what? My main goal in life is to just have, like, as many Gucci plays as possible. To keep things spicy without being a coward. It's the M.O. It's the it's the Mo, brother. You know what? Play them. Pop them up here. Just in case you gotta put something up there last minute. It's the M.O. of the channel, and I really do think that, or at least I hope that I abide in it properly. You're taking 39 damage? That makes no... Oh, because you sweep! Okay, hold on. Mine collapse... I think it's better to get rid of you. Okay, I, I might have been a little bit wrong about that one. You sweeping sucks pretty bad, dude. Like, I can't even play you. Because lifesteal would be great, but like, again, you're going to be swept and it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so again, my bad. What we got to do now is desperately get this man ready for whatever is coming his way. And what's coming his way right now is a boss with like pretty much full HP. The sweeping units are going to be annoying, but... I think we kind of did what we could have done there. All right. It's important that we do things in a specific order. First is play you. It doesn't make much of a difference because everybody, because you sweep, but that's fair. Um, also, like, you got to die. It makes a difference. Not a good one. This sucks because we got to play stuff up here, and they're going to be dazed, and, like, they're also going to die because they sweep. So, like, I think, dude, honestly, man, this is already, like, pretty cursed. <laughs> All right, 56 damage is better. It is better. Um, I, I don't know, man. We could try to keep you alive a little bit longer, but it's not really going to do much. 56 damage is what we got. Okay. You're going to hit us three times. That sucks. But on the bright side, we're not dead. And if you're not dead, then it's all fine. I think Space Prism is absolutely a mandatory take. And Sweep is probably the worst thing we could have come across. So, like, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, everything here, the Reformation is pretty nice, but... I, I honestly am, like, way overvaluing having a small deck. Like, straight up. I understand that I'm overvaluing that, but... The fact that we have two deadweights now and, like, six copies of every starting card. Like, we're starting with, like, thick decks, dude. We need we need units. We need units. Can I get a good artifact, though? Lightstone casing can actually make a, a pretty decent difference. And, like, if the game doesn't want to give me good... Okay, hold on, you're good. Alloy Construct is amazing, and we'd never have to worry about him not having any fuel because we just get fuel for him every single turn because of our boy. This is the most dangerous option you could possibly give me in this game because I am 100% going to do something stupid. You, you can't just be like, hey, you want to duplicate a card five times, and then there's no way that my animal brain is not going to be like, uh, yeah. This is going to sound wild, but I think you want to duplicate the Anton Burr Assault. We have 31 cards in the deck, but a lot of them are 13 damage dealing cards that we could use on any unit that we want, including ones in the back that don't have that much HP anyway, and will generate more fuel for the boy. So I think, like, the main play is, first of all, be Daedalus, and then, like, also become, like, a monster living, a monster living, a living monster train MLG pro. That's, like, step number one. Step number two, that's a lot of damage. What's your thing? You deal one damage on death? That sucks. Okay, let's, let's just start you up here. I think that's important. Now, I'm trying to think. Let's get rid of you. We could, we can play you. 18 damage is, is a lot. But also, remember that, like, you... Well, I mean, 13 damage is better. And now you eat. So as long as we... Wow, you have, like, no HP, man. We gotta, like, give you quick or something. Because this is not gonna work out. And you're dead. That sucks. Can we stop you? You're taking... You're doing 12 exactly. It's annoying, but... It does mean that playing you keeps you alive just enough. So, that's spicy. We just have to make sure, like, you don't die, basically. You want to deal with this. I think you got to play you. You get absorbed. Oh, because when you kill things, you deal damage. That's very bad. Our champion's going to die. Which means that 100% we're dealing with, like, the alloy construct on the top. So, we have to make sure that he eats. So if you could, like, not bomb him, that'd be great too, brother. Oh, but you have a damage shield, my dude. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, okay. We're not, we're not, it's not done yet. 
Um, this, this one, okay, in this instance, then yes, this is done. You're dead. Sorry, dude. My bad. Oops. Um, unless we get, like, a Morsa with, like, decent HP, and that's not gonna happen. So, let's feed you even more, because you're the only thing that matters right now. You're not taking any damage, but I don't want you to lose a damage shield, so I will actually just get rid of that, because I think that damage shield is more important. And I guess, uh, in, because this is the hell that we live in, you get to uh, be a, a champion here now. So congratulations. I think we can get past Daedalus with just our alloyed construct. And, like, the ins why are you even, like, wasting that on down there? Like, honestly. Actually, no, there is a reason to waste it. The reason to waste it is that you get more morsels and you can feed your boy. Who's, like, honestly, he's getting pretty pogged up there. I'm very proud of his progression. Of his pogression. Let's go, brother. Okay. Play you. Play you. The, the first floor is dead to me. The first floor is dead to me. Nothing matters anymore. The only thing that matters is getting this man ready for, like, dealing with everything else. Where are all my Ant Umber Assault, dude? I got 31 cards in this deck. All right. You're dying. That's important. I would like energy. I would like energy. You're not dying. That's incredible, dude. Well, I mean, might as well do this. Honestly, that's, that's a lot more than I thought you would be taking. And I'm okay with that. How do you want to deal with this? You know what? Get out of my deck. That's how I want to deal with it. I think we're going to be fine. But this strategy is not going to work. It's not going to work at all in like three seconds. Was that worth the energy? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Killing that dude is incredible. And just get out of my house, man. Like, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Okay, 26 damage. We're doing 26 damage on the second floor. Oh my god, it's the most OP run I've ever had in my life. More lifesteal? I mean, that sounds pretty good. You're dead, which is great, dude. I mean, that sucks. That's a bad proc of a damage shield, but, like, I get it. Might as well throw some damage out there. Might as well do what you can, man. You know what? Yeah, soak up a hit. Can you have more? You could have more. I mean, Daedalus is 100% dead, but this is... It's a bad spiral. It is a bad spiral. And, and you know what? I was so confident that I totally didn't stop thinking about everything else to look at Daedalus and make sure that the red X popped up that I knew 100% that he was dead. Shroud Mitosis is a beautiful card. And you gotta stop giving me these trash units. The thing is, like, I need a unit, though. Man, this deck is just destroyed. <laughs> I, I can't take anything. I'd rather have the $10 so I could get rid of something. And we have to go capacity. It sucks because, of, like, with a deck this chonky, you'd want to probably go draw. But it's not gonna work out. Uh, we need to upgrade units. And also, like, yeeting some cards is, like, pretty big. Okay, train stewards. On last run, you were MVP. Most valuable personal effect. Right now, I do not care about you at all. You mean nothing to me. Oh my god, it's so good. So that's incredible. It's also like the first time that I think we've had a, a large stone in the past like 14 episodes, so I'm pretty happy with that. We got $100 left. How do you want to spend it? I mean, like, giving you another large stone would probably be like my bet. But... I'd rather reroll. It's spicy. Endless would be good too, but now we got we got stuff that we need to do. A 75 HP unit that attacks for 45 twice. Plus you eat disgustingly. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. I like you having a little bit of extra HP. I don't know if that's the right upgrade to give him, but like, oh yeah, dude. You having like 50 HP and trample is great. We're still looking for endless. We're still looking for quick. We're still looking for anything to make our champion better, but... Mm. It's very refreshing. Fairville, I thought you were on a diet. I am on a diet, okay? I've lost 40 freaking pounds since this quarantine nightmare started. It's ridiculous. I'm allowed to have a little bit of carbonation every once in a while, okay? Why, why, why are you getting so defensive about it? I'm not getting defensive about it, okay? It's just that... You know what? That's fair. I guess I am getting defensive. That's my bad. I don't mean to, like, pro you know, project that onto the audience. I do apologize. But yeah, I realized that, like... After spending so much time worrying about what I eat... I've come to a realization where I should just be like, You know what? Like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Which I know is, like, it's a dangerous slope to be on because then it's like, Oh, well, I, you know, if you eat every time you're hungry or every time your mind thinks that you're hungry then it's, that's how you cause issues. And I'm like, you're not wrong. I agree with that. However, 
You know, I, I, I think that I've progressed in my weight loss journey very uh, prodigiously. That's right. I, I, I still have the Digimon movie stuck in my head. You're dying, huh? If you're dying, I don't want to play you. Dude, it's, it's, it's not good, but this is, like, not bad. Our biggest issue is, like, how are we going to deal with stuff that's... Oh, dude, yes, please. Give me more damage shields, dude. That's incredible. I, I don't know how we're going to deal with, like, once units die. Unless we, like, start... You know what? Sure, it's, like, it's nine extra damage. And you know what? Everyone burns out a little bit more. And then you get the incant because, once again, you're not paying attention. I got no idea what we're going to do when units die. But, like, that's not my problem right now. Um, It's a spicy one. But I think you want to do that. You just you just keep doing you, brother. I love this. This is with the this is with the trial on also. Like it's disgusting. So that's fine. <clears throat> it's a lot of damage down there, dude. It's a lot of damage down there. But yeah, anyway, I do think like if you if you want to be happy in your life, you gotta you gotta find a little mediation grounds for you to to you be you you know this sucks because like you're getting through and i can't do anything about that and you're gonna do 13 damage to the fire that sucks why why so much where are all my antumber assaults dude well i mean you better start eating man I do not like taking 12 damage. That's like a that's a lot. 13, even okay, my bad. Oops. But still, damn, son. You wanna do something stupid? No, I don't think we should do anything stupid. I think you should absolutely shroud my toast as that, give him like four more lifesteal. And then like also maybe give him some uh, a little bit of damage shield, which is nice too. And then also like I don't know, daze. I, what does this matter? If we daze you, you can't move, but you're still gonna be able to ascend. So like it doesn't really make a difference. But you're dead. Yeah. Okay. Good. You know what? I'll be honest with you. I think this is a good deck. I think it's a good deck. But we need to push harder. Yo, Void Binding is so good. Yo, Engulfed in Smoke is so good. Just don't use it on the floor with the lady that has to get hit. Okay, this is going well. It's going well. We have the cards that we like. Okay. 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 I'm thinking. I'm thinking very much. Um... I mean, the money would be nice. Concealed Caverns, I overvalue, and I don't think they're that good. An artifact could be good. An artifact that works well with our consumption could also be, like, incredibly good. Um, and duplication, we don't need to duplicate anything. So, like, do I want the HP is the question. If anything, I like to get rid of stuff, but, like... So, basically, what would I rather have? A random artifact or upgrades, money, and something, maybe. I think upgrades, money, and something, maybe are, is the right answer there. Remove Consume could be good on Space Prism, but I don't really think so. I think we really do want, like... Actually, I think if there's one thing that we want here, it's to get rid of stuff. Oh, and we could upgrade stuff three times now. Yes, that's right. Okay, well, you're going to be free. I mean, that's just easy. Permafrost is nice, but doesn't really do anything for us. I guess, like, we also want to just remove uh, cost and then, like, straight up, just we got to kill stuff from this deck. So the Train Steward, I think that's an easy go. 120 to remove a card? Oh my god, man. Like, a drag also good to go. We can't afford anything else. Well, we can, but I don't care. Okay, okay. This is going acceptable. I don't want any of this. I don't want anything. No, 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 no. Okay, look, 31 cards in the deck. This deck is, like, pretty heavily reliant on the fact that we're getting the right cards at the right time, and if we don't, then we're screwed. So, like, I'm not gonna put any more in here. Armor 15, huh? For $150... Merchant of Magic and Merchant of Trinket is coming up, but there is a dude, the Unstable Vortex, Merchant of Magic, and Concealed Caverns is pretty good. I, I feel like we have a good chance at winning this run. And also, I hate you because you're the sweep unit that heals, so that sucks. I think we say no thank you, Mr. Challenge, and this time I actually vents it. This is a good starting hand, but I dislike it. Okay. Set up your top floor. How do you want to do this? It's not a lot of damage coming out. So we can set up like a tank here, which is fine. Um, you know what? You might as well have dregs. And you might as well like make you the trample floor. Oh, but you sweep! You sweep! Okay, that's gonna that's actually gonna cause issues. Like that's gonna be bad. Um, you're dying. So if you're dying, I'm not gonna waste that on you. 
I do think like you need to eat and you're not gonna eat in time, which is actually like a huge issue. Um, this is this might be bad. How bad? I think I really wanted to play the void binding and like I'm dumb, but that's fine too. Okay. Oh, he does eat. Never mind. We're good. It triggers even if he's dazed. What a, what a day to be alive. Okay. Now, since you trample, you definitely need to get the stealth, get rid of the healer, and this is fine. This is fine. All right. Feed your boy as much as humanly possible. 45, like, 90 damage a turn is nice, but it's not going to do everything that we need it to do when we get later on in the game. It's not bad, huh? I mean, like, get rid of you, and then I realized I almost used all my mana, so... Okay, at the same time, this is fair. This is fair. This is fair. So, your stealth is gonna run out. That sucks. But really, this one-two punch that we've kind of devised for us, it's going really well. I think we, we're gonna be fighting Fell. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's your thing, dude. You get a little bit more. And, like, honestly, might as well. Why? I don't know. Sometimes you gotta do stuff, you know? But, uh, I mean, if we're going up against Fel, we should be able to take care of the, the Guardians, like, really easily. Oh my god, it's a damage shield. Look at that. Look at how beautiful everything is. Okay, you doesn't really do much, huh? Okay. But, we can't put in, like, 26 damage. I need you to get rid of his lifesteal. You did not get rid of his lifesteal. You're doing 302, though. That's incredible. What, uh, what happens if I do that? Three, two, I'm sorry, three, nine, one. It's not enough, but it does mean that I don't have to worry about this. I mean, you sweep, right? So, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It is still, like, incredibly spicy because we just need, like, one bad, not even floor, not even encounter, just one bad, like, RNG draw of the deck to not get what we need when we need it, and then we're screwed, and, like, it could happen, man. Uh, another grovel goes a long way and it's honestly another engulfed in smoke also goes a long way like at this point if you have like a big deck you might as well just take a lot of copies of the cards that you actually want because then at that point it's like you don't really have that big of a deck you know unstable vortex what do you want to get rid of i think this is an easy one i think you got to get rid of like some of the detritus a shade splitter and a drag we've we've outgrown them and I'm really hoping for something good here, like a holdover. But apparently those cards don't exist anymore, so that sucks. Uh, no, you know what? Give me a holdover. I've demanded it. Okay, thank you so much. So this is huge. A holdover engulfed in smoke is a free win. Especially if it's free. I mean, I, I think making it free, is it the best upgrade for it? No, it would be better if we gave it double stack, but that's not going to happen. I literally don't want any of this. I don't want any of it. You know what? Take the one that purges, then. That's that's why they do it. You don't want it, no problem. Take the one that purge, and then you just get rid of it. But it's going to it's gonna blow the deck. Um, we could still easily lose. And I know, look, I, this is my commentary style, okay? I'm going to jump between, like, we're going to win 100% to, like, eh, it's getting a little bit sketchy. But I do honestly believe that the more, the more detritus we pick up, the worse everything's getting. So I'm getting, like, 14 trillion emails right now. So that sucks. We're going to take damage on this floor. Um, that's fine. Why couldn't you be the other one? Why couldn't you be your brother? Let's set you up here. So now, like, you're dead no matter what. And I guess we're just gonna do this. Like, yeah. Okay, okay. It's spicy, it's spicy, but just make sure you're fine. The most annoying thing that you're gonna have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis... Oh my god, it's so good, man. It's so good. The most annoying thing that you're gonna have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis are all of these contritions. But if you could get ahead of them, and more importantly, if you could just, like, not let them bother you, that's fine. If you die, no, you get eaten still. Okay. With that being said, I've already taken six damage, and, like, that's a lot. So, let's try not to have that happen. How you looking? You're dead, which is great. Okay, like, right now, this is a problem. This is a problem. Um, you gotta play that. You gotta get rid of that. You could still eat, which is great. And we could just, we could, we could clear out. The bottom floor is going to be uh, just a no-go zone. But do I care? I mean, not really. And really, I don't see why we wouldn't want to void bind and then also, like, feed you if everything's free. And then, like, we could just, like, kill off whatever we want. Like, you do seven damage. I don't want that. You're also not dead, which is incredible to me. 
And you know what? There you go. Have have 10 burnout. You're going to die way before that hits zero, queen. I'm telling you. Don't worry about it. If you could stop with that, that'd be great, though. That's 90, huh? That's That's a little bit spicy. Okay. I need you dead. I need you dead. I'd love to have that now, but it can't happen. Um, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. And you know what? Have a little bit of stealth. Have a little bit of stealth, brother. You're dead. That was a bad mistake. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Um, if we could stop that, that'd be great. Because, like, I'm having issues right now. This is what I said. It doesn't take a lot for everything to fall apart. But if we could, like, get around it, that'd be beautiful. Um, I really need you to be dead. Okay. Good. I also need you to have more stealth. I would like you to have more damage shields, and I need you to eat. Like, I need you to eat so much. The lifesteal is beautiful. Also, ooh, that's not good. You know what? You get that too. If we, like, could continuously construct a scenario where, like, none of our units can get hit. Like, you don't need to heal a unit that never gets hit anyway. So, like, who cares, man? Oh, my God. Can I actually, like, cast stuff? Thank God. So you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You're getting through, which sucks. So, oh, that's really bad. But we can- no, 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 we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's zero damage. Never mind. We're in a bad situation. I'm not a fan. This is the last wave. You know what? This is okay. It's still okay. It's still okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. How are you looking? How are you looking? Thank God. Get out. Okay, that's that's a huge that's a huge thing just completely dealt with. You also need to die. Good. You're going to be dead on the next floor. Okay, again, still spicy. More damage shield, please. More health. More energy, and you get you get bigger. You get thicker. You get thicker. Never mind. Okay. Stealth. It's still good. Are you dead? 674. That's not bad. That's not bad. 842? Yeah, we're okay. And you know what? Give me $80. Why not? Okay. It's getting spicy. It's getting incredibly spiced. I think we're okay. But we just have to play, like, literally perfectly for the rest of the game. And then we'll be totally fine. We, it is Sarah the Chase, right? You're gonna cleanse, huh? That sucks. <laughs> uh, Blazing Bolts is really good if you get it upgraded, but we have two fights left, so it doesn't matter. Trample is like, it's so good, man. It's so good. And now I'm like, what do you do here? I need the draw. I really do genuinely 100% need the draw. It's, it's spicy. We need HP. We need to purge. Like, the deck's at 30. And honestly, in my head, I'm like, that's pretty good. If you have good upgrades... Oh my god, Holdover could be massive. What do you want to do with Holdover? I don't think you want to hold over another stealth card. I don't think that's necessary. Um, you could do a Danger and, and Holdover Void Binding. But I think you want to hold over Shroud Mitosis. Like, why wouldn't you? Because you always get you get a guaranteed morsel, and now you have three copies of whatever that guaranteed morsel is. That's pretty good. And upgrading a spell with another 10 damage, like, you're guaranteed 10 damage for zero mana cost. That's good. That's fine. That's acceptable. Let's make our champion Pogger. 100 HP with stealth that does 170 trample damage. I mean, if we get, like, a good... I can't do you for $400. That's incredibly too much to me. And I do apologize. I know I'm wearing like a sleeveless vest, but it is like incredibly warm in this room. So I'm going to undo it. And I, I hope this doesn't get me in trouble with the YouTube algorithm. Well, I mean, this is like what you want, huh? So that takes care of that. How are you taking 15 damage? Because you have extinguishing effects, huh? That sucks. And by that sucks, like that's just annoying. Like how, how dare you? Also, you're way too large, and we've made a huge mistake because we can't feed you, but, like, I get it. Um, in this situation, I just want to get this floor prepped. So he's going to take damage even with the stealth, and oh my god, it's so good. 
We can't afford to play both of them, which, haha, joke's on me, but still, like, come on. Actually, we can, which is incredible. So this is great. What do you want to do here? Let's play you for free, because there's no reason not to. Let's, I mean, you're going to die, so that doesn't really matter. Let's kill you, gain two energy, and then give you trample. And now, like, the world's our oyster, brother. I don't even care about Lady of the Reformed, and, like, maybe that's a bad, that's a bad thing. We might want to not play you on the first floor no matter what, and we might just want to get you ready, but like also like I'm kind of just like, why don't we just like give you more damage? But no, 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 that's not that's not the right play. We need to play cards, at least right now, so like let's keep doing what has to be done. You taking 20 sucks. Can you like not? Okay, well in this in that situation you're not taking 20. I'm kind of like like, half of me is just like, let's just skip all this if you see X's, because, like, it means that you're doing great, sweetheart. Play that. Play the lifesteal. Play that. And, like, give me, like, a whole... Oh, my God, I forgot which one it is. It's you. I want more energy next turn. I really do. And, like, if you could not attack, that'd be great. And if you could also, like, just only take 15 damage, that'd be better, too. This is the cleanest run I think I've ever had in my life. Okay, now I'm like, you're dying. That's bad. But... It doesn't matter because I have my engulfed in smoke. That's great. And we could just, like, pick off these boys. And that's beautiful. I would like you to have a lot of damage shield, if possible. Dude, I'm getting, I'm getting like, a little nervous. Because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I think we got this. So this came at the perfect time. And I think we won. But that doesn't mean that you're allowed to get lazy up there. It does not mean you're allowed to get lazy. We didn't see, look, this is why you don't get lazy. But what if you give him Void Binding? Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought, you coward. Okay. So it's going pretty well. I think we just say, like, I love all of this, but I think we say no thank you right now. Um, I think you once again say no thank you. 30 cards is a lot, but it's a lot less than I thought we would have going into all this. So, like, I'm happy. Now I'm like, what do you want to do? You want to upgrade units or you want to upgrade spells? I mean, what units? Honestly, what units do we have? I think I'd, I'm, I'm more comfortable getting HP. The duplication is... It is spicy. It is spicy. <clears throat> you know what? I think that's fair. I don't think we could afford an artifact. But if we can... Oh, yo, Jack Strips is like the best artifact in the game. I don't care what anyone says. What do you want to duplicate? I think the answer is easy. It's an engulfed in smoke. Okay, and now we're doing Sarah of the Chase. It's going to be annoying because you are going to cleanse, but... Straight up? It's not like we just built the entire deck around that, so, like, what do I care? Thank God, right? All right. So, you being up there is disgusting, and I have no respect for it. But, that's fine. It's a lot of damage coming out that turn. It's a lot of damage. Um, we can do something about it. You know what? Like, why? Why Why risk it? Why risk it? Let's drip fall you. Free kill. Oh, the jack strips are gonna kill all of you. That's beautiful. Well, not all of you, but you know what I mean. Okay. So I do think that this is, this is a spicy one, but I do think I want to play you to get you out of the deck, and then we can kill you for free. But you have a harvest trigger, which is disgusting, but that's fine too. And now you, you do what you always do. You set up and you get ready. We are drawing six of our 25 remaining cards, so, like, we really gotta hope. It's, like, sometimes, dude, it just works, and, like, when it works, oh, my God. So that's incredible. Um, this is incredible. This floor, now nothing will pass. Nothing will pass. It sucks that we can't do that, but, like, what are you gonna do, cry about it? You're a god. Let's keep you guys, like, straight up, just keep things alive. You have six waves. A lot could go wrong in six waves. But I do think getting the the stealth early is going to make a huge difference in, like, victory. But keep in mind, like, you do 170 damage, like, you're going to kill one dude, and then, like, yeah. So it's not the best. You eat. You damage shield. Because stuff is going to come up to you at some point. Keep eating, brother. Keep eating. Okay. Okay. You might be saying, use the void binding. No, nah, the void binding is a lie. I really... Oh, you're all dead, huh? What if I do that? Now only one of you is dying. Beautiful. <coughs> By one of you dying, I mean one of you is living. Just keep on track. Keep on track. You know what?
Stealth 1 sucks. You're going to cleanse it. But you're not taking damage, so I'd rather you have the stealth, because you're going to have to deal with this soon. Um, actually, no, because you're going to die from the jack strips because it's the best artifact in the freaking game, my dude. I want it. I want to... I, look, it might not be the best use, but I want so much energy. And now we can feed you, which is great. And, like, also, what if I just kill you right now and then play a drag? I don't know. <laughs> it's not the best solution, but it is a solution. And we only got three waves left, so, like, this is going great. All right. I don't want you to get hit. Um, I really don't want you to get hit. Um, I really don't want you to get hit. You're getting through, which sucks. Now you're not getting through, which is incredible. And now I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, it might be probably in our best interest to give you like a little bit of lifesteal and get you ready. Dude, I think we've won. Like if we could keep the, the stealth going, then like that's all that matters. That's really all that matters. And I'm not trying to be, like, pedantic about it, but, like, really, like, what are you gonna do? Stop me? You know what? I, I, I do want you to have more HP. I do want you to have more HP. That one's on the house, brother. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna get murdered. That's fine, dude. Alright. Last wave. I think it's okay, dude. But if you could, like, stop purging my boy, that'd be great. Just, just keep it on. Just keep going. Okay, you're dead. You're gonna die to the jack strips. So really, I just gotta deal with you. And that's gonna deal with you. It does suck that everything else here is gonna be a nightmare. But like again, I don't really care. I, we, we've come like I'm gonna call it. This is a winning situation for us. Everything is just—it's so beautiful. Yeah, like you got 14 stacks of stealth. What are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? What can you do to stop this? But I am terrified, so, like, I will give you a little bit more lifesteal. Dude, this is going to be three wins in a row, and that's just, that's, like, I would never have believed that this would have been possible. Because I'm just dumb at this game. Like, I'm bad at this game. Look at that. Look at that. Easy. Easy. Oh, dude. You know, if you were to tell me, hey, getting to Covenant rank 25 is going to be a nightmare, I would have been, first of all, I believe you 100%, but now I'm like, you know what? I think there's a chance. <laughs> Look at that. Covenant rank 15, 16, and 17 done. Back to back, brother. Welcome to Covenant rank 18. I'm too good. I'm too good. 32,000 points? It's not bad. Merchants' goods cost 20% more. That sucks. But I got two more golden trims. What a day to be alive. Oh my god. Total umber wins. I have done it. <laughs> It's a new clan permeation. Hey, if you liked the episode, hit the like button. It does help me out. Of course, you want to see more of my content in the future. Hit the subscribe button. Join the Fate Tribe. My name is Fairville. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Dude, I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped.